started. Alright, first example. I'm given angle E and angle G. What do you think angle E will equal? One, two, three, six. One, three, six. That is correct. They are the same size. They will both be 136. What about put it? I was kidding. I was thinking. Put it right now. I know. I just write my notes. Go get your own. I know. I was kidding. It's just a joke. On the right question, I'm given that V is 75. And I'm trying to find W. The question mark is not 75. This one would be... That one's 75. How do I find the missing? Good job. Subtract from 180. So this question mark plus the 75 will add up to equal 180. They're different sizes. That's why we don't put them equal to each other. Any questions on those two? No. All right, example two. I'm given angle L and angle M. Are they going to be equal to each other? No. No, they're not the same size. That means I have a 9x plus 4 plus a 140 equals 180 degrees together. That means I have 9x plus 144, and I put those together. Yeah? Yeah, go ahead. Minus the 144. What? I heard an oh no. Divide by nine. X equals four. It says solve for X. That means we are done. We don't have to plug it. Example two. I'm given angle W and angle Y. Are they equal to each other? Yeah. Yes. Same size, equal. All my terms are combined, so I'm going to start moving. And the minus is 118. Then I divide. Zero divided by two is still zero. Questions on example two? All right, example three. I'm given angle D and angle B. Are they equal? What? Cross from each other? They're cross from each other and they're the same size? 
So what should we add or subtract? So do you want to move the 5x or 7x? No matter which one is preference. 7? That gives me a minus 2x. Then I'm going to move that 15 over. Divide it. This one's kind of tricky though. It wants me to find the measurement of angle B. What is 7 times 11? 77. Minus 7? So I would enter the 70 as my answer because it wants the measurement of angle B, not an X. Who thinks they can set up the parallelogram on the right the equation? Why did you put a plus sign between the words? They're not equal. Good. It's a positive six, so put the plus sign. Good. I'm going to combine them together. What is 11 plus 6? That makes 17 x's. What's negative 11 plus 4? Minus 7. Now we can start moving across the equal sign to get the x along. Divide by that 17. That's 11 again. Now it asks us to find E. What? There's nothing in E. It's the same as C. Let's plug it in there. So C, can you see how there C and E 
but are the same size. Yeah. So if I plug it in here and I find it's 110, then E has to be. No, I know, I know that. Like, oh. give me those numbers. The 11 is has the first piece of the numbers. Which one? It just happened to all be 11s for some reason. I don't know why. You're like, why are they all 11? So, like, X will be in the first piece? Yep. Yeah, so like if this had been a 9, you would just put a 9 in there. So that's right. Let's see. Yeah. Example 4. I'm going to do the one on the left, and then I want you to try to do the one on the right on your own. It says that we're given a rhombus with measurement of angle C, A, B. C, a, B, this angle right in here is 31. What other angles will be 31? A to B will also be 31. Anywhere else? These two? It wants us to find the measurement of C, D, A. Now this is where we're going to have to go back to triangles. That was the Friday assignment. Yep, triangles add up. To equal 180. You would just subtract them on your calculator. Try example for the one on the right. You do not have to write it out the way I do. You can use your calculator. I just want to make sure you can get the right, the correct answer. apply our process to the question on our right, we know the angle CAB is 34, which means this is 34, 34, 34. They want me to find angle CDA. That means it'll add up to 180 for the triangle. What did you get for your final answer? Good job.
since you have that written in, turn the page. These next ones. Huh? The next ones. These were all nice because they have patterns. <laughs> right? They have patterns. They have equal angles. There's patterns to them. As soon as I turn this page, they give us uh, quadrilaterals. There's no pattern. None of those match. They don't match each other. So I'm going to place all of these together and say that they equal something. This one is new. It's new information. Anybody want to take a guess at what will equal? Wait, does it matter if we put the 94 for the 84 so far? Nope. It doesn't. Order does not matter. You could even skip this step, and I'll show you how to skip that step in a second. Yeah, what do you think? Is it like 360 because it's two triangles put together? Who told you? Mike Meyer. <laughs> what a genius, Mike. Yeah. Two triangles. 180, 180, thanks. 360. Mm -hmm. 60. So, if you write it out like this, you would then combine the 16 plus the 21, which would make 37 X's. Negative 3 plus 84 plus 94. I'm going to do that on my calculator. Negative 3 plus 84 plus 94. 175. Uh, Jackson, this is the shortcut that I'm talking about. If you don't want to write all of that out, I can just type in 16 plus 21. So I can add those together on my calculator, which is the same thing we did from our line. And then I can add these together to get the 175 without. It still equals 360, yeah. It's just a short, it's the same process. It's just doing it, combining like terms without writing that huge list. So from there, subtract the 175. And divide. You, you said 5 earlier. You had already solved it for 5. I said 5 by 15. What's your 5. Let's double check. 185 divided by 37. 5. 5 is good. Is that it? 1. <coughs> yes. So it wants Q, 21 times 5 is genius. Some of you will get to the point, you'll just be able to do it all on your calculator and not have to write anything down. Some. It's possible. Do you know who those some are? I do not. Probably you. <laughs> Try 
So the question on the right on your own. Oh, wait, not yet. <laughs> Who has the next line? Just the line, not the answer. 36 and 174. 36 and 174. Uh-oh. Did something yeah, go yeah, wrong? Oh, yeah, 174. Sorry. 173. What? 173? It's 180. Uh, it's I got it put at 90 instead of 96. Ah, uh, no. Well, you're bad at adding. <laughs> oh, it's because I didn't add the 7. I knew I was doing something. That's 7? Add you got to add all the numbers. 7 oh, minus 3, 96, 80. 80. 180. 180. So 0 is why you like this. All right. There we go. Yes. I beat you. <laughs> What about now? Um, you minus the 180, and then you divide by 36. Five again? Yeah. And then, to solve for W, uh, you do the equation. Angles are easier than sides because I know that three sixty is one eighty and then plug it in thirty six to buy the one eighty. You don't have to put in the whole line. Here. Seven minus three is four. Add the four to ninety-six. So it's one hundred and eighty. Ah, shortcuts. We're finding shortcuts. Good. Questions on those two. On example five. So how much do you like all this combined? Uh, today's assignment is just the angles. Okay. Yep. They give me, this is a different shape. It's an isosceles trapezoid. I have V. And I have U. Are they going to be equal? No. Mm -hmm. You know what they will do? Six X plus twenty seven. Plus 16x minus 23 equals 180. Now the reasoning for this, do you see that there are matching angles? Can you see that this side matches this side? Mm -hmm. So if I were to take it and I were to fold it in half, they'd be the same. They'd be the same. So I can split it in half. It's fair to do that. Up above, can I split this in half and they match up? No, that's messy. That won't work. But I can fold this one in half. So I can do 180. Let's put these together. 6x plus 16. That makes 20 
two x's. 27 minus 23 is positive 7 or take away that 4 Then it requests us to find B. You already did it? Yeah. What'd you get? Question on the right. I am given E and B. How will I set up the equation? Equal to each other. We need to move. Uh oh. I tried to go ahead and I messed up, so I just need to move. Did you put it equal to 180? That's why. <laughs> 360. Uh, look at their size. They match. Ah, we don't even have to use 180. We just say they're equal. Do you want to minus the 11 or minus the 9? Does not matter. Minus the 9. What will x equal? Good. What is the measurement of E?